What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness in his reviews and together with me, Redcon 1, Total War, RTD. Listen people, <laughs> I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing and how is it different from the best-selling Redcon 1 Total War powder form. Then I'm gonna share with you my personal experience using this one. I've used it already twice. And then right towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my final verdict. Okay guys, so Redcon 1, a company that does not need any introduction, stormed into the supplement world only two years ago and since then everybody knows them. Obviously Total War was actually their first product out the door, the Redcon 1 Total War pre-workout. Since then it went through a couple of versions with the latest one about six months ago I think, is, which is the current Total War that you, a lot of you guys buy and love. It's, it's one of the best-selling pre-workouts out there, probably like a top five best-selling pre-workout in, in the last couple of years. Anyway, long story short, Redcon 1 Total War RTD is obviously supposed to complement the existing powder form with an RTD form. And the idea is you, you're supposed to find this in gym uh, fridges, where honestly, good gracious, we do need a change in these gym fridges. I'm tired of seeing this ABB speed shot or whatever, you know, same shit that we used to see like 10 years ago, which, you know, in the last couple of years, we're steam junkies and supplement junkies became very used to like fully dosed pre-workouts with a lot of stuff around it with pump formulas and power formulas and all that good stuff seeing that ABB speed shot seriously that doesn't cut it for us anymore anyway so that's one use case the other use case is obviously for RTD pre-workouts generally speaking is that you you travel you're gonna go to your gym like in let's say late at the night back from work you don't want to carry a powder you just drop this thing in your bag and there you go you have a pre-workout that's that's the idea behind an rtd generally speaking let me take you through the label here it's a bit different than the current version of the powder form of total war i'm going to tell you what it's different about what what's different in it so let's start with the pump formula six grams uh, citrine mallet and one gram agmatin exactly like the current form of the powder form of total war which is a great pump formula I mean, citrulline plus agmatin, perfect. And this is already, by the way, way better than anything that you usually would find in your gym fridge. Then you have beta alanine at 3.2, tingling, endurance, good stuff, really like it. Then you have taurine at one gram. Taurine is gonna help you with endurance also in some, to some extent in muscle pumps. Then you have caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams, decaffeine mallet at 100 milligrams, and you have theobroma at 25 milligrams. So that's the steam package. Now, where is it different than the Total War uh, powder form? Is one, Total War powder form as Ampiberry at uh, 150 milligrams, I think. This doesn't have it here. So Ampiberry is not really a stimulant, but it, it's positioned as part of the stimulant package. Then it doesn't have uh, Naringin, which is gonna help you with some fat burning, uh, uh, fat burning qualities. Doesn't have it here. It doesn't have bioparin, which is gonna help with observability. So, and my guess is that they removed all this stuff because of flavor. Like different from a powder form where you have more flexibility with flavor, with an RTD, it's really hard to make an RTD heavy with stimulants and all these ingredients and actually taste good. And I think that's why they removed the bioparin and a couple of other things. Now, what they did add is 50 milligrams more of caffeine. So this does have, more stimulants in, in weight, call it, right? Compared to the Total War R, uh, powder form. And that's, so that's it. Generally speaking, very similar uh, package. So you have a good uh, package for pumps, you have a solid package for endurance with the beta alanine and taurine, and you have a basic but well thought of package of caffeine. So basically you have here, think about it as three types of caffeine. You have the caffeine anhydrous, you have the decaffeine malice, so that's going to have a more prolonged effect. And then you have the teobroma that's going to help you also with prolonging the effect and getting less, less desensitized to the stimulants. So that's what's in it. Hey guys, bottom line is about the label. If you like Total War, the powder form, you're going to like this one. There's not a lot of difference here and you should feel the same. Let's talk about the flavor, people, because flavor in an RTD actually matters more than in powder form. You know, you're, you're going into the gym, you're taking this out of the fridge. You don't want it to taste like shit. You don't. Anyway, it's gonna be chilled. So I actually have a version here chilled. Like I said, I already used this one. I used two of them. This is the grape flavor. Uh, Redcon 1 came out with two more flavors, I think, since they launched this last week. So there's like three or four flavors out. I only have the grape flavor. So we're gonna try the grape flavor again. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. So grape, I'm not a very big grape person by definition, but we're gonna see. So by the way, it is clear. Like the, the packaging shows uh, purple. Inside, it's totally clear. Woo! 
So listen, definitely on the sweet side. Definitely on the sweet side. If you like sweet grape flavors, you're gonna like this. If you're like me, you're not crazy about too sweet. You almost wanna take two sips, add more water, and then drink the rest of it. Even though I can tell you I haven't done this when I use this. I actually just took it like a man. I manned up and I drank it. It's very good grape. It's just sweet. So if you don't like sweet, you're gonna like say, oh shit, this is sweet. <laughs> Other than that, it's a very good flavor. As far as the effectiveness of the Total War RTD, like I mentioned before, it is exactly, or at least very, very similar to the point that I can't tell the difference between this and the Total War powder, the latest form. So if you like Total War as a pre-workout, you're gonna feel right at home with the Redcon 1 Total War RTD, right at home. Pumps are solid, which is actually interesting. I mean, taking like an energy drink or a pre-workout RTD and feeling pumps, feeling the beta alanine tingling, feeling the full pre-workout experience is a good, it's, a, it's just, it's an interesting thing, right? Like we're used to like, when you think energy drinks like Bang and a couple of others, Monster, you don't get the same experience. This feels like a pre-workout. And this feels like a Total War pre-workout. So, you know, if you if you like Total War, you're gonna like this. If you're a steam junkie, you need DMHA, DMAA, DM, what the freaking ever, then this is not for you because Total War is not for you. If Total War is for you, and like I said, Total War is for a lot of you because it's one of the best selling pre-workouts out there, you're gonna feel right at home. This is Total War in an RTD form and they sort of uh, compensated for the naringin and the ampi berry and the bioparin with the 15 milligrams extra of caffeine and hydrus and it feels very similar. I honestly, like if you would give me this or this, I couldn't tell the freaking difference. The only difference is it comes in a bottle that I can take. And by the way, just want to mention this, really like the fact that the bottles are small, right? A lot of the times you get the RTDs, they're way bigger. This is a small bottle. You can just drop it in your bag. It's really simple. It's not going to take a lot of place in the fridges, I guess, in the gym. I guess people are going to like it. As far as where you can buy it, this is Redcon 1, so I'm assuming you'll be able to find it every freaking where. <laughs> I mean, right now you can find it on the Redcon 1, Total, uh, Redcon 1 website. I'm going to link to the fitness deal news page of the Redcon 1 Total War RTD below so you can compare prices, but you're probably going to find it like in the couple next couple of weeks, vitamin shop, GNC, grocery stores, wherever, everything online. Redcon 1 is everywhere. This is going to be everywhere and probably coming soon to a gym near you. And I, and I have to say that as far as finding this in a gym and let's say I'm stuck, I, I would prefer have this on top of anything else I've seen in a gym fridge as far as a pre-workout. So there you go. As far as the other flavors, when I get them, I'm gonna do another review. Listen, people, I'm gonna link to the, like I mentioned, I'm gonna link to the product page on Fitness Dinner so you can see the prices from all over the web. This sells for about, I think the list price is like $35. But you know, Redcon 1, because it's so well distributed and it's everywhere, there's always like good prices out there. So my expectation is to find this at, you know, like the 12, uh, the case of 12 for around the $25, $26, $27 range. And you know, when we find a deal, because that's what we do, then you'll know about it and then you can save even more. Totally dig it, totally get it, like the flavor overall. If you like Redcon 1 Total War, if you like Redcon 1 as a company, you're gonna like Redcon 1 Total War RTD. It delivers on the promise. Listen, people. If this video was helpful in your Redcon 1 Total War RTD decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is exactly what we do. Exactly. We try this stuff, we tell you what to expect and what to not expect from the supplements that you buy. And if you want to save money, you go to fitnessdnews.com. We don't sell anything. We just compare prices from all over the web to help you save money.